Learning how to read a syringe could be the difference between giving patients the correct dose of medication and helping them, or giving the patients wrong doses of medication and harming them. By the end of this lesson, you will identify and interpret the graduation marks on various syringes, determine the amount of medication in various types of syringes. First, we will examine the parts of the syringe. The tip is where the needle hub attaches to the syringe. The barrel is a reservoir for holding the syringe's contents. The content may include liquids or gases, but for the rest of this lesson, I will just refer to the content as medication. Flanges provide a surface for the clinician to securely grasp the syringe during injection procedures. The plunger moves back and forth inside the barrel of the syringe. This allows the clinician to draw medication into the syringe and expel medication out of the syringe. At the top of the plunger is a rubbery tip called the stopper. The stopper prevents medication from leaking around the plunger. You will notice that the stopper has a top ring and a bottom ring. The top ring acts as an indicator for measuring the medication contained within the barrel of the syringe. On the barrel are bold graduation marks. Graduation marks allow for the measurement of the syringe's contents. The first graduation mark represents zero, while the last graduation mark represents the syringe's capacity or the total amount the syringe was designed to hold. These marks typically represent cubic centimeters, cc's, milliliters, ml's, or units. If you see syringes that have cc's, ml's, or both, don't worry, the amounts are equivalent. One cc is the same as one ml. We will cover the graduation marks on 5 milliliter, 3 milliliter, 1 milliliter, and U100 syringes. There are many other sizes of syringes, but once you finish this lesson, you will feel confident in reading syringes of any size. Now let's focus on interpreting the values of the graduation marks on these syringes. To interpret the values of graduation marks, we will use a three-step process. Step 1. Determine the increments of the visible numbers. To find the increment, observe the visible numbers and determine how much they are increasing by. On this 5 milliliter syringe, this line represents 1 milliliter, this represents 2 milliliters, and so on. Therefore, the visible numbers are increasing in increments of 1. Step 2. Count the steps to the next visible number. First, I want you to notice that you have long lines which have the visible numbers next to them, and the short lines which do not have any visible numbers next to them. So to determine the values of those shorter lines, we will count how many lines it takes to get from one visible number to the next visible number. We will use a line of the first visible number, 1, as your starting point. With your finger on the starting point, count how many steps it takes for you to land on the next visible number. One step, two step, three steps, four steps, and 5. It takes 5 steps to get to the next visible number. Notice that we did not include the starting point as one of the steps. We only counted the lines after the starting point and stopped counting once we landed on the line of the next visible number. So the answer to step 2 is 5. It took 5 steps for us to get to the next visible number. Step 3. Divide the increment by the number of steps. For step 3, all you need to do is divide the answer from step 1 by the answer in step 2. When the increment of 1 is divided by the number of steps 5, it equals 0.2. Therefore, each line on the syringe represents a value of 0.2. That means this line indicates a value of 0.2 milliliters. This is 0.4, 0.6, 0 0.8, 1, 1 1.2, 1 1.4, and so forth. So, how much does this line represent? 
If you stated 3.4 milliliters, you are correct. How about this line? If you stated 4.8, you are correct. Now let's get a little more realistic. Instead of using an arrow, let's use the top ring of the stopper as our indicator and fill the syringe with medication. When observing the stopper, you will notice that there is a bit of a cone shape at the tip. Ignore the cone-shaped area and measure the amount of medication by focusing only on the top ring of the stopper. For example, notice the top ring highlighted in red is touching the 2 milliliter line. This indicates that the syringe contains 2 milliliters of medication. You try the next one. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 0.6 milliliters, you are correct. One more. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 3.2 milliliters, you are correct. Great job. Now that you are comfortable with reading a 5 milliliter syringe, we will use this three-step process to read the next few syringes. Let's apply the steps to reading this 3 milliliter syringe. Step 1. Determine the increments of the visible numbers. The visible numbers are 0.5, 1, 1.5, 2, and so on. That means the visible numbers are increasing in increments of half or 0.5. Step 2. Count the steps to the next visible number. Our starting point is 0.5. And, as you see, it takes five steps after the starting point to land on the next visible number. Step 3. Divide the increment by the number of steps. When the increment of 0.5 is divided by the number of steps, 5, it equals 0.1 ml. Therefore, each line on the syringe represents a value of 0.1 ml. This line is 0.1, this is 0.2, 0.3, and so on. Now that we know the value of all the graduation marks, let's determine the amount of medication in the syringe. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 0.7 milliliters, you are correct. Try one more. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 1.9 milliliters, you are correct. Great job! Now we'll just apply the steps to reading a 1 milliliter syringe. Step 1. Determine the increments of the visible numbers. The visible numbers are 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, and so on. That means the visible numbers are increasing in increments of 0.1. Step 2. Count the steps to the next visible number. Our starting point is 0.1 and, as you see, it takes 10 steps after the starting point to land on the next visible number. Step 3. Divide the increment by the number of steps. When the increment of 0.1 is divided by the number of steps, 10, it equals 0.01 milliliters. Therefore, each line on the syringe represents a value of 0.01 milliliters. So this line is 0.01, this is 0.02, 0.03, and so on. Let's jump ahead so you can get a better idea of how the marks increase throughout the syringe. Here is 0.09, here is 0.1, but to make this a bit more intuitive, you can also look at this line as being 0.10 because after 0.10 is 0.11, 0.12, and so on. So what is the value of this line? If you stated 0.21, you are correct. Now that you know the value of all the graduation marks, 
let's determine the amount of medication in the syringe. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 0.59 milliliters, you are correct. Try one more. How much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 0.65 milliliters, you are correct. Great job. And that brings us to our last syringe, the U100 syringe. The U100 syringe is commonly used for insulin injections, and doses of insulin are measured in units. Therefore, instead of saying milliliters in your final answer, for this syringe, you will state units in your final answer. Now let's apply the three-step process to this 100 unit syringe. Step one, determine the increments of the visible numbers. The visible numbers are 10, 20, 30, 40, and so on. That means the visible numbers are increasing in increments of 10 units. Step two, count the steps to the next visible number. Our starting point is 10, and as you see, it takes five steps to land on the next visible number. Step three, divide the increment by the number of steps. When the increment of 10 is divided by the number of steps, 5, it equals 2. Therefore, each line on the syringe represents a value of 2 units. This line is 2, this is 4, 6, and so on. And now that you know the value of all the graduation marks, let's determine the amount of medication in the syringe. So how much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 38 units, you are correct. One more, how much medication is in this syringe? If you stated 74 units, you are correct. Well, we went through all of the syringes, but before I end this lesson, I want to test your skills with a few random syringes. So once the syringe appears on your screen, press pause to figure out the answer and then press play when you're ready to view the answer. You ready? Let's begin. How much medication is in this three milliliter syringe? How much medication is in this one milliliter syringe? How much medication is in this U100 syringe? And how much medication is in this 5 milliliter syringe? So, did you answer all of them correctly? Great job, and give yourself a huge pat on the back for a job well done. And there you have it. You have learned to identify and interpret the graduation marks on various syringes, and determine the amount of medication in various types of syringes.